What we're going to do now is make our quads out of these duplets. So it's very simple. You can do this um, with five inch balloons, 11 inch balloons, doesn't matter. But these are, I think these are nine inch balloons and but I sized them down to five inch for the previous design. And I'm just, they're very squishy. So it's gonna make it fairly easy for me to do this. So if the balloon was not tied together, you would just make it soft and squishy, under inflate, and then you would tie, I mean, you would make your twist from the nozzle. So you would put the nozzle at the top of your hand, squeeze, making two sections like this. If you find that one section is bigger than the other section, you can always just give a little squeeze to redistribute the air so you can get an even side. And that one wasn't done yet. And then when you twist, you have two balloons out of one. And it's going to stay because of the friction, so then you would just flip it grab the other balloon and squeeze it in the middle. And then give it a twist. And if you need to redistribute that air, go ahead and do so, which I do, twist. And now you've got like this situation here. And then you just twist them, intertwine them into each other. And you have for balloons. This also helps if you don't have enough of a certain color or size and you're trying to create a look, you can also do that for this as well. We're going to now blow up our 260 balloons. And for this design, you're going to need a total of eight. And I'm going to use my Legenda balloon pump to blow them up. And now we've probably like two fingers left on the end. Let out a little bit of air to soften it up and tie. the other four off camera and affix them to our hoop. And here's the hula hoop that we're gonna be using today. As you can see, I've already started. And so what I'm going to do is put these other 260s on this side. And what you wanna do is start by making them into duplets. So if you tie them together, Try your best to make it even with the other side. So you lay the hula hoop on top of that one, lay this on top, and then you twist the two sides. Take the other side, twist them in the opposite direction. Take one balloon from each side and then twist that. Same with the other two on the back. Like that. 
then what you want to do is just twist two of them together until you reach the end and then just secure them with a little tie. Now you can twist these other two together the same way and then wrap them both around, but I like to do them individually after I've secured this portion. So we're going around, making sure that the hula hoop is nestling in between those twists. Bringing it around again in between those twists. One more time in between that last twist. And then what you want to do is take that balloon and wrap it around and again secure, just like that. Then you take one of the other ones that you have left, going around and just laying it into the empty spaces that you have left. And once you've gotten to the end, just secure it into one of those other balloons. You have your last one, and then you have some empty space in between there. So again, lay it in between. And if you need to stretch your balloon out, you can just give it a little tug. Wrap, twist, wrap, and twist. Once you have it up, you can give it a twist around. Just like that. And now you see it's fairly even. Now you have to clean this section up. What you wanna do is take some scissors. I actually have a cutter on the back of my balloon pump. And that extra room that you left on the end, you should have maybe a little nipple there left. Just pull that, cut it, release the air. Grab another one. Wrap around the hula hoop, double tie into knots. And if you don't have much left, just give it a little twist so you can stretch it and then release the air. And then I have some left on this one. Tie. double knotting this one as well. Then you wanna clean it up and get the excess balloon off. Pull and cut.
And now for the star of the show, Mr. Teddy Bear. <laughs> so now the idea is to take your design and suspend the teddy bear from the design in the middle. So that is what we're getting ready to do now. And for that, you are going to need some clear fishing line. Um, I have 25 pounds, so that's what I'm going to use for this. So after you've found the middle, you want to lift up your design, see how far down it is, which I have it too far down. 